Good evening and welcome back to Next Gen Season 16. It's been a while, well, two weeks in, in entirety. Uh, we're here for round number six, the halfway point of the Group A1 Taurus. Uh, we are here at Brands Hatch Indy with open car choice, so whatever car they used for the first round they have to use here, which see Jack going out in a Sierra Cosworth. Um, Another other news, uh, it's a top four reverse grid, meaning the top four in the championship will start at the back in the reverse grid order. And one of those is Jack, and he is here in with us in the commentary box for qualifying. Um, Brand such indeed, small circuit, top four reverse should make for some excellent racing. Yeah, obviously, as we know, this is uh, Scooby G's home track as Tyler House gets squeezed out at Druids by someone. Don't know who that is. Um, yeah, Scooby's home track. He, uh, ha has he actually lost a race here? I think he might have done it once or twice, but not very many times. Um, but we will, uh, at some point, we'll go on a lap around Brands as you need. It's not obviously quite a short one, so. Possibly get a couple a couple in. Um, probably get Jack to do a run through, and I'll do a run through. See what comparisons we have. Because obviously, we, we, me and you both driving the Clio, so it's um, it, we got completely different styles, really. Uh, as as Ginger puts in a fifty point uh, six, I believe that is for a provisional pole time. Um, I'm just grabbing the standings and also posting the links because you know why not. So, uh, the championship positions at the moment, Jack, you are leading on 91 points, but with Adam in hot pursuit on 87. Scooby has 69, and DY House 7 has 57. Those four are the guys who will be starting at the back of the pack. Maybe so Johnny has 55, so he almost was part of that group. As Dizzler disconnects, hopefully he can get back in the lobby. Um, four fish on 51, he's having a good... Picking up his season quite nicely at the moment. The Les on 50. Again, he's also another one picking up his season after a bit of a poor start. Uh, Lightblades on 46. With Tiger House 43. Jorinho has 33. Uh, Cam has 30. Lina Greasby 27. Shadow Stalker also on 27. Tim on 19. Bob Mark on 16. Bruce Lee Harding on his one appearance got 16 points. Uh, the Dizzler has 11. Poisson, Ginger Poisson has 8, and Herlo85 has 3. It's quite a tight midfield there, points-wise, which is good to see. Um, let's see if we can find someone to go on board with. Maybe a Johnny currently sitting on pole with a 50.2. Four fish. Oh, there we go. Yeah, right. I'm, uh, I'll, I'll take four fishes lap then for a description. So here we go. Brian's had Jindy. Very short circuit. Ginger Boys on now goes quickest, but we go to cross the line with four fish. Up towards Panic Hill. Now you want to take it slightly wider. Hits the brakes at the pit exit. And then gradually bring it in. Just, just get the angle as slight as you can. Power out of it into Druids. Again, straight brakes. Down is the second. Uh, just ride along the apex and Bring the throttle in, run it out wide. Graham Hill, I normally stick to the left, run it out to the right-hand side, hit the brakes, and let the back end do the rest. Full fish, stay to the right-hand side. 
all the way down to Graham to Cersei, sorry. Flick left. Obviously, these cars you can't quite go flat. Flick it right, and then into clearways. Again, you start off nice and wide, come into the apex, and gradually bring the throttle in as you exit out. Normally, you go a bit wider of a line than four fish there. Otherwise, that's a, that's a lap of Brands Hatch Indy in the Mercedes. Good lap. Uh, that's, a, that's a pretty good effort considering Jindra is in the Audi there. Well, Jack, it's now your turn to take us on a lap. Uh, I'm I'm going to go on with Ginger Poisson, the current pole sitter. Just coming around clearways now, in Clark Curve. Yo, Jack's perception. Yeah, it's a 49-1 for four fish. No, 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 without a doubt, and if I'm correct, Brand Touch Indy, you start on the left-hand side of the grid on pole position, if I remember correctly. Which is actually, no, no, a lot of people will probably think, well, hang on, that's the outside, but it's actually less cambered on the outside than it is on the inside, which is why that's the case. Obviously, when you, when you start here at Brands Hatch, you're actually on a cambered straight, uh, which means the road is not level, it's slightly slanted, and it means... Could have been the Dizzler. Could have been the Dizzler, I'm guessing. Four fish hits another fastest lap, getting into the 48s now, a 48.9. Um, point two. Um, well, I think anyone can ruin anyone's evening. Um, but going, going back to the starting grid, obviously, when, when you hit the throttle jack, especially the rear-wheel drive cars, they're going to slide a bit coming off the off the line with that with that camber. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays into effect at the start. And the Les is. <laughs> Ginger points on. I don't know that. I think that's the ledge. She's gone fifth. Ginger stays in fourth right now. Light blade about to come across the line. 14 seconds to go. He'll get one more. Doesn't go any quicker. He's got three seconds to make it to the line. Maybe he's not going to make that one. 
That's it, Shadow Stalker finishes the qualifying, currently sat in seventh place. Did, did he make it? Ah, the Dizzler finishes off in seventh. Yes, yeah, so it looks like he has me. That's a great effort then from Shadow Stalker. Just trying to find who's coming around the last bend. It's Web User Johnny coming out of clear and through Clark Curve. Up to the line he comes. Can't go any quicker. Light Blade hits the wall on the uh, entry of the finish line, which is a bit of a weird one. Uh, Shadow Stalker. Can he upset four fish? He's taken a very wide line, which is a bit unusual for qualifying. But he finishes, and it looks like four fish will take his maiden pole position here in the Group A1s. And I believe that's his maiden pole position in Project Cars 2. He's had a few of them in GT Sport. It's hard, even with Cam. Even with Cam driving that car as well, that's impressive stats. Um, so Fourfish does take pole position alongside him is Webby the Johnny. He'll be gutted two tenths behind. Lightblade, who are even more gutted because he's even less behind Johnny. Uh, he starts up row two alongside him. Ginger puts on. Row three is the Lairs and Tyner House 97. Row four, Shadow Stalker and Tim. Uh, row five is Bob Mark One and the Dizzler. Row 6 is DY House 7 and Scooby G. Row 7, Adam Morris and obviously Jack. Courtesy of the top four reverse. So here we go. We sink in four fish on pole. We have three red lights. We are green at Brands Hatch. And who's got the best start? Johnny gets a lightning start with that four-wheel drive. And it looks like Ginger also looking down the inside. Four fish. Things out wide as Ginger looks to go down the inside of Light Blade. Up to Druids for the first time. A bit of tag in the background, but it looks like we've got away clean. No, we haven't. There is contact in behind. Ginger has gone really deep, and Les, I think that is, has punted into Light Blade, unfortunately. Light Blade. Oh, no, that's four fish. That's four fish. Anna Morris and Bob having issues in the background. Sorry, that's four fish. He's gone round. He's received a massive hit from behind. And that was Shadow Stalker. Jack up into 10th place then. Do you want to 7 up into 7th? That's the Dizzler. Have Scooby G behind. But maybe he's a Johnny. Gets away. He's three seconds up. And here comes Jack's TM53 synopsis. Oh, almost gets the door squeezed on him, still being squeezed on the inside. Up towards Panic Hill Bend. He does get through. Scooby G now looking up the inside. That on Tim. The job gets done. And Jack now looking behind. Look to get a good exit. He's running a bit wide. That could be penalty cost, time penalty there. Dean Whitehouse. Oh, and Scooby G gets right boxed in behind Ginger Poisson and Dean Whitehouse 7. Two Audis having a bit of a scrap here for fourth place. Dean Whitehouse switching it. Looking to the inside of Panic Hill Bend. That'd be a great little switch if he's managed to make this work. He has made that work. And Scooby G looking to get in on this action. He's now looking to the inside. He's on the grass. He's bouncing around. He's gone almost straight in front of Jack. Jack now looking to the inside of Graham Hill. Ben, that's not quite going to work, though. Nice Sierra is looking very, very quick. And so you just trying to go rallying in them. Meanwhile, Johnny commanding at the front right now for this 25-lap race. DY House on the back of Light Blade now. There's a scrap here. Light Blade has a penalty. Time penalty. 
Bit of a clip there. And D.Y. has seven goes to the inside. Oh, comes back in straight into contact with Jindra. Down to Graham Hill Bend. And D.Y. has seven just about fends off Jindra. And they brought Scooby G back into play here. So you're still having a look at a, a, a fight, really, through 30s. Ginger making the mistake, but DY7 can't quite capitalise. We got on board here with Jack. He's got a great view of this battle going on. Super G looks to the inside of DY7. DY7 gives him the room. And again, another bit of a door, door bash. Here comes Jack. Oh, Jack has <laughs> really hit Scooby G that. I'm afraid he's probably going to have to wait for him. Flash lights. Jack's going to do this in a place where he's not going to lose too much time. Yes, there he is. He pulls over. Well, Scooby G may be having to slow down for a time penalty there. Someone's off. That's Ginger Poisson. I wonder if Jack's are now working on the bases of let's try and work together with Scooby here. Let's get up the field and swap later and fight it out later. Well, oh, Tim's off the road. Here comes Adam Morris down the inside. Not a problem. Fullfish is a great recovery by him. He's up into seventh right now. Setting some blistering times of 49.4. Now he's already bagged one bonus point for getting pole position. But he is catching Scooby G at a rate of knots. Meanwhile, back with Jack. Not quite on the tail. To seemingly the period when the cars are slightly more spread out. They're a bit more mutual to each other right now. Uh, because of that, nothing's really happening. And behind, Adam Morris looking to get past Ginger Points on. Does get the move done. Out of Graham Hill Bend. Making good headway here. He's losing too many points to Jack in reality right now. Although Jack spun it. Oh, and there goes Shadow Stalker. Living the grass. I don't know what happened to Jack then. Maybe he just clipped the grass in the exit or he's just spun to the inside. But Jack has just undone all that great work he's he done in the past. It's up into 11th now. Adam Morris, 48.7 last time around. Quickest man, last lap. Lights ablaze. He wants to get past four fish right now. Fish, no stranger to Brands Hatch, but Anna Morris sends it down the inside of Paddock Hill Bend. Very nice move in the end, fairly easy. Makes me wonder if Four Fish just goes, I'll tell you what, I'm going to use him to get me up this order because they're both catching Scooby G. And now Adam's going to be absolutely spurred on, but Light Blade. It's behind DR7, DR7 getting alongside the layers, going through 30s. That's a brave place to go side by side. And he finishes the job there at Clearway through Clark Curve. Down to Paddock Hill Bend. This for the 10th time now.
Anna Morris on the tail of Scooby G. They've managed to drop four fish. Only 1.7 here. Bad lap from four fish last time around. Scooby G drifting it through clear weight. And Anna Morris says, I don't need a second invitation. Thank you for that. And he'll immediately go on the defensive. He knows how quick that Sierra Cosworth is in a straight line. Johnny not setting the world alight by pace. A 49.5 last time around. And Adam is really making headway here. Tim gets uh, overtaken here by Jack. He just runs a bit wide through Druids. Jack up into ninth. Dio has just actually been passed by the Les now. Which is surprising, but he's going to be right on and coming out towards Paddock Hill Bend. Maybe looks to the inside. Still looking to the inside. Gets down the inside. Les has to back out of his normal line because there's a big white Audi in the way. Up towards Druid, still side by side. This for second place. And Adam Morris in the background. He makes the move on Light Blade as well. DY House gets past the Les. And Anna Morris will not want to spend too much time behind him. It's a gaggle of cars for second place now. Johnny 3.6 ahead. These guys need to work together a little bit. Oh, Anna Morris gets a nice little run coming out of clearways. Through Clark Curve, and that's going to be a done deal into Paddock Hill, I'm afraid. Adam Morris up into third. And it won't be long. Until he's up into second potentially. He looks at the inside of Druids, just nowhere near close enough. Just trying anything he can. He's got a better line out. Good acceleration. But great defensive driving here from D.Y. House 7. And weirdly enough, they're not costing each other too much time. They actually pulled four tenths so far. Joanna Morris runs wide. Squares the corner up. Not a massive advantage though compared to when he's against the rear-wheel drive cars. Hasn't got that same sort of traction advantage. And a little bit sideways from D.Y. House. Into Druid and looks down the inside again. Nightblade's falling down the order. He looks like he's on a spin at Druids. Meanwhile, D.Y. House 7 still defending from Adam Morris. And they are reeling in. They are really, really are reeling in here, Johnny. But this time, Adam Morris looks at the inside of Paddock Hill. And again, he, oh, D.Y. has seven makes a mistake. He's drifted the car through Paddock. They've collided. And D.Y. has seven gets sent to the barriers. Very unlucky that for D.Y. has seven. Very much a racing instant. And all he's done, he's just come through Paddock Hill, lost the rear of the car. And unfortunately, he just clipped out of Morris on re-entry. Which comes to the lap traffic now, the Dizzler. Flash race for Adam, Dizzler gets out of the way, nicely done. And now Adam's only 1.8, he could do this, second to last on the grid, to potentially win the race. Full fish, now this is a cracking drive by him. Up into sixth place now. 
I mean, if you are watching, do comment. Uh, dr pick your driver of the race. That's four fish looking all over the back of Ginger, but just doesn't have the traction available to him. And I can assure you, he's not going to be very happy after Druids there. Got absolutely annihilated into the corner. Paddock Hill, and here we go. This is the fight for the lead. Lap 17, Johnny has led all 16 laps so far. And now he's got company. Adam has been absolutely flying constantly in the 48. No slower, no faster than those 48. Looks on the inside. Again, Johnny nicely done. Just taking his own line there. No need to defend it. Too hard. But he should go to the inside. Whoa, that's close, and Adam's into the wall. It was a very tight squeeze by Johnny. Adam Morris just clipping the grass, and it sent the car a little bit sideways, and it sent him ultimately into that barrier. There's full fish with DY House 7 behind. DY House 7, no bumper anymore. Fish. It just doesn't look like he's got the same sort of confidence as he had. Oh, that's a spinner. That's Scooby-G. So, Fourfish gains another free position then. And there's a Dizzler. He's going to have to get out of the way in this battle, I'm afraid. Yes, he stays out nice and wide. And he's not going to be very happy, I don't think, after that squeeze. But um, what more can you do? He's got to fight back. Here comes D. Whitehouse 7 down the inside of Four Fish. Into Paddock Hill Bend. Easy pickings for an Audi. Oh, no, it isn't. Four Fish has a great switch back. Back up to fifth place for the Mercedes man. In behind, you've got Jack, who's now ahead of Scooby G. So ahead of Line Blade, who does have a penalty. Meanwhile, back at the front, Adam Morris. Moby to Johnny. Here we go again, round two. Half a second between them, but we know Adam's quicker around the circuit. Oh, that's a lovely line from Adam. But Johnny will go defensive here. Adam potentially looking for a switch back. He's not going to get one. Johnny parks it on that apex. Oh, this is great driving for the pair. Adam practically pushing Johnny through Graham Hill. We can't see a thing on the bumper cam. Oh, and Adam can't quite ski squeeze on the inside on the XR30s. He's looking to go around the outside now. Clearways looks for the switchback. Isn't going to get one. Looks the inside, and again, Johnny squeezing almost. Give him the cover. Oh, he just shuts the door at the last minute. That's uh, Bob, who's had a spin. This is getting exciting for the lead. This is lap number 21 of 25. Johnny just about holding on right now. I so wish we had a backwards-facing camera on this game from the roof. This is where the battle is out for the win. And again, Adam looking to the inside. Can't get there because Johnny does shut the door. Johnny has to get down to that line. He can't allow Adam a single sniff. Yes, he does. He doesn't. That's good news. He forces Adam to the outside. Adam's going to break earlier. Look for the switch back, I reckon. And again, Johnny's parked there, but he can't quite stay there for long enough. Here comes Adam Morris down the inside, up towards Druids. For the 22nd time. Adam Morris takes the lead on lap number 22. And I'm afraid to say, he should walk away with it, but he's just running a bit wide, going through Graham Hill now. 
Johnny uh, straight back down the inside, up towards 30s. Can't quite get the speed, and Anamara is a quicker through 30s. And that'll be that, I think. That was a great little tussle. Meanwhile, another great little tussle. Tyler House has Tim in front of him, and these two are going at it pretty hard. This for 11th. Up to 30s. Oh, Tim runs a bit wide. Tyler House looking all over the show for a gap of some description to open up. Same car for each other, so equal terms. And Tim runs a bit wide. Someone else is off. And Tim runs really wide into the gravel. And Tyler House gets through. I think that's the Dizzle having issues. Hey, yes, it is. Ninja Point on is on the back of the lanes here. Onto the penultimate lap. Can he make this an Audi 1, 2, 3? Looking to the outside. That's very ambitious from Jindra. <laughs> he's having a go. And he's got it down the inside. That's a phenomenal move. <laughs> How does he manage that? That's a great move from Ginger Voice. I'm speechless. And that's the last. He's gone for a spin onto the grass. And a low. Oh, hello. Oh, that was close to DY7. And the, the pack getting. Uh, trying to get past him. Down to eighth place now for the Les. That was a great opportunistic move, that from Ginger. Just got the traction. Just went, yeah, I'm going down the inside. On to the last lap, though. Jack's had a great race here. Up, up to four. He's, he's had to bounce back, but... Um, yeah, that's a great effort by him up into the top four. We've liked a bit more, but that's not the way it is. But we're going to go to the eventual race winner. He is my driver of the race. Second to last on the grid. He comes home. RDF1, Adam Morris. He wins at Brands Hatch. And quite possibly will take the lead of the championship after this round. Waves of Johnny, a fantastic second place. Couldn't quite hold on in the end. Ginger Poisson comes home third to make an Audi 1 2 3. And Jack does take fourth from DY House 7. Four fish will take sixth from Light Blade. The Les, after that last minute mistake, will come home for eighth place. Scooby GA is home track, ninth. I don't know if he's actually. <laughs> the Les has had an absolute barrel. Uh, barrel laughs. He is. Shadow Stalker comes home in 10th. Um, the Dizzler. There's Bob. He comes home in 13th. Tyler House will come home in 11th after his battle with Tim. He comes home 12th. And the Dizzler, 14th and last. I don't even think this is going to manage to <laughs> make the line here. So, provisional race results from Brands Hatch Indy. RDF1 Anna Morris takes victory from where he's a Johnny. Ginger Poisson is on third. Jack fourth. DY House seven fifth. Four Fish is in sixth. Great recovery drive by him. Light Blade is in seventh. The Lair's in eighth. Scooby G ninth. Shadow Stalker tenth. Tyler House eleventh. Tim twelfth. Bob Mike one thirteenth. The Dizzler finishes fourteenth and last. So that's it for Group A ones next week. So we've had our break week last week. Um, next week, round number seven, we head to Fuji Speedway in the BMW M1 Pro Cars. That'll be their second race of the season. Should be an absolute belter. But next up tonight on my channel will be the Modern Touring Cars. The, in fact, I should say that again. The Tour Maniac. Modern Touring Cars live from Sesaton 300, where everyone has the pleasure of taking a BMW. But for myself and the group A1 Taurus, thank you for watching tonight. Enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs>